I F lab. Today we are going to perform identification reference of compound of given sample using HPDLC MS. This is HPDLC high performance thin layer chromatography. It is a sophisticated analytical technique used for the uh, uh, separation, uh, identification and the quantification of the compounds in a uh, mixture of the components. Okay. Uh, this is uh, used by the uh, vision cat software. This is uh, linear matter application of sample into the TLC plate. This is a scanner and this is a TLC visualizer and this is a derivatizer. This is the development chamber of TLC. This is TLC MS where we can determine the molecular weight of a given sample. This is the first component of TLC MS is HPLC mosin pump. Second one is TLC MS interface and third which is the most important is mass spectrometer. First, we'll weigh the uh, caffeine powder, then we'll dissolve in uh, 100 ml of distilled water. Then we'll keep it for uh, until it gets boiled. After that, we'll prepare mobile phase. We'll take ethyl acetate, uh, 18 ml, methanol, which is 2 ml, formic acid, which is 0.2 ml, and mix it. After this, we'll keep the sample and the standard of caffeine inside the centrifuge and we'll centrifuge for 2 minutes. After that, uh, we'll cut the TLC sheet which is uh, about 10 by 10. We'll cut it in a square piece. Then after that, we'll open the centrifuge. After that, we'll open VisionCAD software. In there, we click on new folder. Then uh, we'll go to the new method. We'll name uh, we'll name the file whatever file we want. Like uh, we are using caffeine as a sample, so we have written caffeine here. So we click on any of the uh, folder or file where we are going to save the location. So once our file is saved, uh, we'll see the instrument over here. So first we'll have to select the TLC visualizer, Linomat then applicator development chamber tlc visualizer uh, derivator tlc scanner and now we can click on finish so we'll follow the following uh, parameters like uh, we'll select the r white r t white r254 then uh, we'll change it to the standard from it, it is in the enhance we'll change it to standard now we'll click ok then we'll go to the development chamber. We'll select 10 by 10 as our TLC place is 10 by 10. Then fill up the detail of the sample. Then click OK. Move, now we'll move to the Linomat. We'll see, we'll follow the uh, following parameters and we'll work according to that as shown in the video. So after following all the step, you can see that this is the TLC plate. We'll keep uh, inside the TLC visualizer to visualize the uh, plate. After that, we'll analyze this through the software. After this, we'll take the sample as well as the standard of the caffeine uh, to filter it. So here you can see uh, we are filtering the caffeine sample into the fresh tube. After this we will take the Hamilton uh, syringe, we will wash it using methanol to cleanse the uh, entire particles which is present inside it and we will do it this step we will do it uh, approximately 3 times. Now we will uh, take standard caffeine then we will place the uh, syringe in the syringe holder after placing we'll click uh, the enter option over here so here uh, the nitrogen gas is used to inject the sample so here the sample is injecting into the TLC paper as you can see it's when the small line has been drawn now after the sa standard we'll take the sample and again we'll do the same step as the as we did for the standard
as you can see sample is injecting here uh, we have also placed standard and sample sample then standard again here is the development chamber we are kept, uh, keeping the tlc sheet over here once the tlc paper has been saturated 80% now we are going to dry the tlc sheet once the tlc plate is fully dried now we'll place it inside the visualizer again so here we can visualize the tlc plate with the uv visual and fluorescent detector so here we got our results the sample as well as the standard rf value should be equal so here the entire data of the caffeine so here we don't know about like if it's still uh, the caffeine is present in the sample or not so for that we'll use the ms so here we uh, before that we'll uh, place the spot where we are going to perform the ms now we'll take the tlc plate to perform the tlc ms to perform uh, tlc ms we'll go to the ltq tune so, software so first we'll place the tlc plate near to the head of the tlc interference now we'll close the head here we are so here we can uh, click on the start after clicking on the start we'll pull the lever we can see the peaks on the software on the screen we, it is visible so we have taken the standard before now we are going to take the sample so first we'll wash the head three times now again for the sample we'll perform the same step we'll place the dot and in that where we close the head we'll click on the start button after clicking the start button we'll pull the lever and then you can analyze it on the computer screen the peak as the molecular weight of the caffeine is 194 so here uh, we can see the peak one approx 195 uh, has been come in the positive way after that uh, we'll analyze the standard peak we'll click on the highest peak value and we can see in the computer screen that it shows 195 approx 195 over there so here we'll uh, visualize for the uh, sample one we'll click on the highest peak value and here we can also see that the value has been